Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. In this video we are going to solve this really interesting question. We have 80 plus 80 divided by 2. On the first hand, this is a very simple question because everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, everyone know about addition, everyone knows about division. But what about the correct answer? Right here we have three options. So let's try to solve it. And I, I think one part of you solved it like that. We have 80 plus 80 divided by 2. And I think one part of students solve it like that. They say, okay, 80 plus 80 equal to 160 and divided by 2, we still have this division equal to 80. So one part of students solve it like that, they say correct option is A. And right now I don't tell that this is correct or incorrect, I wanted to su I suggest you to pause the video real quick and try to solve it by yourself. What do you think is the correct answer? We have A, B and C, three options. So it's really interesting to check your school knowledge and of course to check your brain level right here, really interesting question. So pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. Okay, and right now I'm going to show you how can we solve it correctly with explanation. So as you can see we have two operations, we have addition and division. So here's our question. We need to know what is the correct order to do this problem. We need to add at first or we need to divide at first. And for this question I show you for example this PMDMC order of operation. This is the main popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific, graphing calculators works according to PMDMC. Yeah and of course I know about BODMAS. Here is our BODMAS. So as you can see it's completely the same order of operation. So let's solve it according to PMDMC. First of all, we need to know, uh, I rewrite this problem, we have 80 plus 80 divided by divided by 2. And let's look at this PMDMC. This PMDMC works from the top to the bottom right here. And we need to go step by step with these steps. First step, parentheses. Are there any parentheses right here? No, I don't see any of those. We don't have any parentheses. So it's, it's really great. So we just, we just skip this part. We don't have any parentheses. Second step, exponents. So are there any exponents right here? No, we don't have any exponents. We don't have any squares, cubes right here, which is, which is really great because we, we can go to that to the next step. The next step, multiplication. And a lot of students do this common mistake. They say, okay, multiplication, but we need to add to this step, we need to add division, because multiplication and division, this is one common group right here. And now we need to scan, where do we have this group? Let's look at it. We have addition, and we have, right here we have division. We don't have multiplication, but we have division. So we need to divide at first before addition and subtraction. As you can see, we have addition and subtraction as our last step. So this is our last step right here. And we need to divide at first and then we need to add. So let's try to, let's look at it. So we have 80 plus, we have 80 divided by 2 equal to, equal to 40. Yeah, so we have 40 and if we add it, we, as you can see, addition is the last step. So this is equal to 120. And this is very tricky moment right here, because as you can see, we don't have this option right here. We don't have 120. And then one part of you maybe goes back to this wrong answer. They say, okay, then option A is a correct answer because we don't have this maybe obvious for most of students. This is obvious solution 120, but a lot of students do this mistake and many won't get right. They go back to this answer 80. And right now I'm going to tell that this is absolutely incorrect answer because this answer is not according to order of operation. It looks like from left to right we don't care about addition, multiplication, division, so we just go from left to right. But we need to know about order of operation. And in this case 120 this is a correct answer, but we have a test. So we need to choose one option, what do we think is correct? So take a look closely, we have 80, this is not 120, this is 40, this is not 120, but 5 factorial, let's, let's remember or let's learn about this factorial. Factorial, this is a product from 1 to 5, so we have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 and times 5, yeah? From product from 1 to 5. So 1 times 2, we have we have 2, 2 times 3, 6, 6 times 4, 24, and 24 times 5, let's multiply it in our head, 24 times 5 equal to 120. And this is really great because this 5 factorial, this is the same as 120 and this 120, this is absolutely the same as our answer according to PMDMC. So very tricky question and we can easily write our answer. So our answer, option B is a correct answer to this to this question. So we hope you understand this explanation. I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. This is like relaxing problem. So I hope you, you learn a correct order of operation or maybe if you know it before, if you knew it before, you can easily 
now you can easily uh, solve it correctly yeah so thank you for your time and have a great day see you in the next videos